The views expressed in the following program do not necessarily represent the views of this station or its management. Real People, Real Life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Welcome back once again, Real People, Real Life, which is talking as this America. America. Indeed, yeah. So, okay. A few shows back, we were all kind of laughing about um, a guy in Topeka that wanted a new dress code. Oh, yeah. And it was, uh, you know, specifically towards women. Mm-hmm. You notice that he kind of... Uh, Withdrew that? Yeah, yeah, he backwalked. He backtracked quickly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he decided that that probably wasn't a good idea after all. So I guess we get to save ourselves a trip going to Topeka to watch our friend David in drag. I know. I, had so I was so uh, I was really looking forward to that. You should do it anyway. I think so. Just uh-huh. for- well, you know, don't tempt him because he probably will. Um, so that, hi, that David. Was, yeah, hi, David. Do it anyway. Um, go ahead and do it. Let's let us know when because we'd like to come do watch. It. Yeah, do it. Do it. <laughs> um, and then I thought it was, you know, uh, so many interesting things. The... Um, Go check out, if you get a chance, it's the Na- uh, National Hemp Association. I know I have it on my personal page, and I'll try to get it up on the Facebook page, too. But they have uh, started off their official tour um, for this legislative season. Um, they recently left Denver, Colorado, and, of course, they're going to be in Iowa for the caucus. But if you click on their site um, on Facebook, and then it'll, it'll point you to a direction where you can click on your state, and it will tell you what the House bills are that they are aware of um, and or Senate bills for your state. Right. Um, okay. And I did find that they were right on the mark um, with the bills yeah. here in Kansas. There so, you go. Um, again, that is uh, National Hemp Association, and I will grab that again real, real quick. And I was going to um, say, if, it, if you're going to our Facebook page to look for it, isn't there a picture? It looks almost like a food truck or something. Yeah, it does. Um, so you can just click on that post and it should get Yeah, and we'll make sure that we get that over there. Yeah. There's never enough time to get everything in a show that we always want to. It never right. fails. Um, would you not agree? Yeah. I agree. I agree, right? So, you know, we need to be sure and let folks know uh, that they can always go to the Facebook page. Oh, you know, totally. Give, real people, give the page real a like. Facebook. The shows are there. Go to the website. And we are still adding more and more to that every day. Absolutely. Thank you, Jen, for that. Yeah, thank you. Because that's a lot of work. It, it's just time consuming if I haven't been on the show. Otherwise, yeah. it's not that bad. It's not too bad. Yeah. Okay. Well, You've I got to fit it in around my crazy life. Well, I, well, yeah, yeah. I think we all have that crazy life thing. Well, so, you know, when this. Um, Coffee with a, with a cop came up, you know. Um, I think it's funny here it was on a Sunday. You know, who's working? Of course, me. Anyway, and um, he was wanting to thank all the, you know, different media people here in Wichita. And so I um, I said, holy moly, here's my number. Give me a call. And he goes, okay, I'm going to call you while I'm walking my dog. I'm like, cool. Anyway, so it's windy out, you know, and he's got, I, apparently, I go, what kind of dog you got? He goes, I got one big, bad pit bull. I'm like, oh, cool. Does he walk really well for you? And he goes, yeah, pretty much until he sees a squirrel or a cat. I'm like, well, let's make this short then, you know. And he was he was really totally cool, dude, um, super nice. So um, one of the reasons that he reached out to us was because he wants more than a three-minute snippet. Oh, yeah. But we'll give him 12 minutes. Exactly. Absolutely. Or even 24. And Sorry. he's going to see, and this is not confirmed yet, and I know we had talked about having our new um, police chief, ch- uh, yeah, chief of police on, um, but I think that they may be coming together. Okay, so that's another show that's in the works. So Coffee with the Cop is in the works. Good. Um, there's awesome. another story coming up with the, that's a veterans issue. And we will be joined by some way awesome Marines. Ooh, and I good. think you guys are familiar with the water problems going on currently in Flint. Yeah. Yes. Wait until you hear from this Marine and the water problems that are have been going on at a Marine uh, facility uh, here in the United States that has affected not just the servicemen, but their husbands, their wives, generations later, their children through birth defects. Um, horrible. Then, of the course, Marines? Mm-hmm. Yeah. so we'll be having a bunch of Marines coming in here pretty soon. And then, of course, we're waiting for a city council member to come back. Yes, we are. And we're looking forward to that. I can't wait to get her on because that ties back into the huge project that you're working on still. The really thing. Yep, the really love, the love story. So who was recently in town here a while back? Uh, Friday, so we did an interview with Sinbad. This yeah. is actually the longest interview I've ever done. It was like 45 minutes. 
Are you serious? Oh, really cool. That never happens. Uh, I mean, that rarely happens with people like that. But it, know, was, right? it was pretty cool. And I, we had him. We had he, he and Rudy sit down. He was just freaking out to see Rudy. Yeah. I bet. And basically owes his music and funk um, to Rudy. Yeah. To Rudy. For yeah. being what did what did Rudy? What, what did <laughs> That's Rudy what they were saying. He said that. Well, you know, Rudy's pretty mellow. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. A, I mean, well, the, the cool thing that came out of this is that uh, Sinbad had so much fun, it looks like he's going to be... Well, they're getting the band back together. Right. The band was kind of back together, but it looks like Sinbad's going to be coming here um, this spring, and they're going to do a series of concerts. That's why we want to... So trying to work with... I mean, I think we're, we have initial contact with the uh, Wichita Festival for, to do a Riverfest thing, which would be cool. So Rudy and Sinbad live. That would be amazing Wait. at can, the Riverfest. Can we, can we tie in... You know, that's why we have the city councilwoman coming on. Is that possible that we can tie in that, you know, Wichita Appreciation? Ask Amy or Rudy Love Month. Yeah, I don't know why. Because okay. yeah. oh, if they're going to be here performing, I mean, that would be the cool way to do it, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. I mean, he's. I think he's done with his tour here in a few months. Okay. And then they'll get back together and start working on some material. Cool. So he's, he's, pretty, he's pretty darn excited about that. Well, the Benders film yeah. is coming up, you know. Oh, that's, yeah. That's, uh, that's going to be... By the time this show airs, it'll actually be past that it's, point. Yeah, it's not going to be an official right. Kansas premiere. No. It's more like for people who work on the film. Right. And then uh, the official Kansas premiere is going to be in Junction City at the Opera House. It's oh, right really, on. Really awesome. Did you see where uh, Netflix put out a big deal that they're going to be adding additional funding to indie films? Yeah. And the Sundance films and all that? I was like, oh, right on. Good for you, Netflix. Yeah. Yeah. Netflix and... Uh, Amazon really uh, took it to the big... Uh, took it to the next level, I think. Well, they took it to yeah. the big uh, film producers at mm -hmm. Sundance this year. Like, right. outbid them by yeah. millions and millions of dollars compared to what the... But the former high, I think, for a film coming out of Sundance was $3 million mm -hmm. last year. This year, uh, Birth of the Nation, I think, sold for seventeen. Oh, wow. Right. So that's a massive difference just for the distribution right. Right. So that's pretty good. That's real awesome. That's pretty good. Pretty exciting. So we'll just keep plugging along doing what we're doing then get Rudy's film out there. Remember good. remember us when you get to the big guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I'm, I'm doing this also for uh, not-for-profit as well. Right. Just being paid to be able to afford to do it. But the back end, we're trying to make it so it should... You know, and this is such a crapshoot with any film that comes out, but should the thing make any money, it's going to go into a trust fund for Rudy and the family because with all the money that they've lost in the past, it's almost hopeless it's, that they're ever going to get It's only fair. That. I think yeah. it's only fair. Whatever you can we're, make, We're trying to get. generate new money for him mm -hmm. that by, you know, not only by the film, but also by new music coming out, new interest in his old music. Right. And so that he can, uh, you know, get out there and make decent money. Right. Performing again and not yeah. for... You know, it's anyway. it's uh, yeah right. You know, and, and and you know, gosh, I mean, you know, I don't know. To me, that goes back to an article that this was actually written by um, uh, Refresh Me Landis. Um, I, I don't pronounce names. I, yeah, and I really I know I'm. But he is a professor bad. at WSU. Mm -hmm. He's a used to be an official with a former governor's uh, office. Mm -hmm. And so the guy knows his stuff. He's, he's a Republican. Right. He has nothing bad to say about Republicans in general. But he blasts the Brownback administration and the horrible job they've done administrating in Kansas. Well, Between tax cuts and no... If I, you can go and check out the news source on this. It was um, through Kansas.com. It was an op-ed in the Wichita Eagle. Yeah, there, it, it was an op-ed, too. Um, but I'll just kind of read you this little bit of a, a t tidbit here. As administrative incompetence mounts, Kansas taxpayers fit the bills, but the real losers are, are the state's most vulnerable residents and members of the public whose, whose health excuse me, and safety depends on the delivery of high-quality public services every day. That is too high a price to pay. And then he goes into what, I mean, check it out. Again, I can put this on the, on the page yeah. too. But, I mean, this is a Republican. And when you read the rest of this and what he has to say about our current governor and some of the policies and where we are at, fiscally speaking, it'll scare the poop out of you. Oh, this guy was, a, was an official at the state level. He knows what he's he knows. talking about. Well, I think that, I think that, 
the name we do not say. I think he's lost even his followers. You know, I mean, he a lot of them don't support him anymore. Right. Yeah. I mean, I can't really find anyone who voted for him. I still haven't. But anyway, <laughs> have you? I mean, you know, I'm well, serious. Well, we voted for asked. a good friend of ours on the show here. I know, right? Keen number, hi Keen. Yeah, yeah, hi Keen. We love you. We miss you. Won't you back? We miss you. We want you to run. So yeah, I do want you guys to check that out. You know, um, some of the other uh, shows that we're also working on, uh, we've been asked to bring um, the folks with uh, Common Core. Yeah. Back. We're good. Yeah. So we're working on getting that one scheduled, <laughs> and then we're getting the food trucks. What's going on with that? Yeah, well, um, Mr. Natural Soul Kitchen was on yeah. with us uh, as part of one of the earlier shows, and he has a permanent location, but they're also building out on it. So they're right. going to have six trucks, five of which are permanent. One's going to rotate out. They're going to have all new trucks. And then the rotating one will bring in and incorporate some of the older trucks that have been around. So Sweet. he wants us to come out and film, and he said he'll oh, make wow. sure everybody's on site and we'll have food to show everybody. Oh, Yay. Yay. Yeah. We always love it. Already our favorite guest of the year. Yeah. Yeah. Truck. Oh, man, I'm so with you on that. It really so, works. We got a lot of stuff that, that we're trying to get to, and and again, if you if there's something that's bugging you or or there's a special event coming up, please let us know. Yeah. We find this happening all the time, and you've said it yeah. a thousand times, Fossa. There's so many things going on, and, but right. for some reason the word doesn't get out, you know, until yeah. after the fact, and then everybody's like, "Well, why didn't I hear about that?" Right. You know, so that's if, what we're trying to do. If you yeah. have an event, let us know, you know, on our get Facebook. Let us know on our website. You know, we're starting to put links up for the different events that are coming. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd like to see more of those events. So if you have an event coming, whether it's a, a for-profit or not-for-profit, it doesn't matter to me. Um, we want to know. Um, Give us and then, some feedback on our, sh- on our web page. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. And if there's if there's a topic that you want us to take on, let us know on that too. Or if you have a complaint, yeah, if you have a complaint, <laughs> bring it on too. Um, we're trying to get you know everybody what they want basically, and that's a really hard thing to do these days in the media. Yep, I think it's a hard thing to do. Period. Oh yeah. You're always going to have somebody about something. Of course. Tis, tis the season. All right, it's a political year. What can I tell you? We'll be right back. Real people, real life. Real people, real life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Alboro Cafe, like a vacation to Italy with Wichita's best Italian dining. Open Monday to Saturday. Happy hour Monday to Thursday, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Enjoy our featured cocktails, lovely wines, and famous martinis. Alboro Cafe. Hi, this is Samantha with Wichita's all-new Easy Pay Auto Sales at 2305 South Broadway. This tax refund season, forget the stress, forget the gimmicks. Bad credit, no credit, no worries. Make it easy on yourself and check us out. We have a great selection of vehicles to choose from. Come see us today at Easy Pay, Wichita's all-new Easy Pay Auto Sales, 2305 South Broadway, where we make it easy. Find us on the web at easypaywichita.com and on Facebook. Easy Pay Auto Sales at 2305 South Broadway. When you look good, you feel amazing. Let 2 Envy Me help you. Straight Wavy Curls Volume, our 100% virgin hair is the best in the world. The perfect professional business look, the perfect fun lady social look, the perfect beautiful night on the town. You can be all of those and more with real hair extensions from 2 Envy Me. 6160 East 21st Street North, Suite 220. Buy online with free shipping at 2 You deserve to feel fantastic. Hammond Liquor, home of the coldest beer in town and the lowest prices store-wide. For all your special events, your friends at Hammond Liquor have what you need from beer, wines, spirits, champagne, and more. Open till 8 p.m. every Sunday, Hammond Liquor, West Kellogg and Tyler Road. The King. Credit King Auto Sales. The biggest buy here, pay here in Kansas. At the King's Corner, 31st Street South and Broadway. The King knows you worked hard for your tax refund. The King will give you more for it. The King of buy here, pay here. The King of low down payments. Bad credit, no credit, no problems with the King. The King does it better than all the rest. Check us out at GoCreditKing.com. Credit King Auto Sales. 31st Street South and Broadway.
we go once again. Welcome back, Real People, Real Life, which is called Kansas. I'm America. America. Okay, yeah, Erin. Hey, hey. Woo. We got Erin. We love you, and we know that you have a lot of fans here in Wichita, Kansas, America. You are one brave lady. Oh yeah. Uh, and, 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 and I would say that most people would agree with that. Oh yeah. I don't know if I'm brave or just egotistical. I have no idea. Whichever. <laughs> it all works. Working. It all works. And one of the you one of the reasons we wanted you to come on was for one of the topics was you know autism. We wanted to talk about that. And um, we had you on and we discussed that before. And then we also discussed I think another it segment. Bull- it was the bullying. Yeah, you came show. back for a bullying show. Yeah. Yeah. she comes back to be on the bullying show and gets bullied. <laughs> <laughs> You know. I don't consider that. No, I don't think she got bullied. I think I she think got I held my own. Um, <laughs> I held oh, my I think own. she kind of puts yes, me in a place real quick. Wrong. But and, and let me yeah. tell you something. I, I, I honestly hold no hard feelings against him. Yeah. You know, I understand the stance he was coming from, and I also understand that that is how a lot of people, the older generation, think. Mm-hmm. And um, quite frankly, I would love in a neutral place to actually bring maybe my own mother and maybe someone who is from his generation to talk to him because maybe that's going to get through to him. Oh, and I'd love to meet him. I mean, I be- like, here's the thing. If we don't believe that people can change their thoughts. No, the I do believe that there. they can. I just know Joe <laughs> won't. I, I know I just know Joe. And well, so. Well, if he chooses to come back and be civilized, I am more than willing to have a discussion with him again. I just want to put that out there. Consider yourself challenged. Okay. Yes. No. Yeah. Do not and, consider and, uh, yourself challenged. Challenge. <laughs> That's going to happen about as fast as no. cannabis in the state of Kansas. Okay. okay. No. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let's be optimistic about that. We let us be. Okay. Yeah. In the next decade. Um, okay. Oh. Anyway, yeah. Okay. So when we stay kind of focused, I, I'm going to let you kind of. Okay. Yeah. That would be great. You two both have autism. personal experience yes. with yes. autism. Yes. So yes. Like lay that out a little bit. I have a daughter with autism and I have a, a son with autism. A son with autism. And Aaron here has autism as well, but I would like you to tell us a little bit more about your diagnosis and and when that what happened and okay. you know that kind of thing. Um, you know, I was I was five years old when I was di- was when I was diagnosed. However, we started seeing signs as early as three years old. Okay. And um it was actually a I think I believe it was a kinder no, I guess it was a preschool teacher who told my mother, you know, you might want to get her tested. Something's not quite right here. What and, were those signs? Do you mind? Um, you know, I just I I was very much attached to my brother, and I didn't like other children. If my brother went on my side, I would like freak out, and it was you know kind of hindering his education, and it wasn't good for him. And there was also a couple other things, just you know, social. It was mainly just social right. stuff because right. when you're a young kid, you're not you know educate. It's the educational signs weren't, weren't there yet. It was just mainly social stuff. So we got tested. Now I, I got tested when I was five, and surprise! Although my mother, my mother, <laughs> <Not> surprise! surprise. <laughs> no, my mother knew that something was up. She knew right. that I was different. I was a different child. I wasn't like her other kids, mm-hmm. and um, she was like. Okay, thank God we have an answer, yeah. and she's like, "Now what do we do next?" Like she took it like right. a freaking pro. Yeah. Um, she's right on, amazing. Mom. Yeah. Thank you, mom. Yeah. I love you. She's, she's actually coming lady. back from a cruise today. So oh. I'm picking her up, and I get to see yeah. her. So. I'm both sad and happy for her. I know, yeah. right? <laughs> sad and jealous. Like so, I'm jealous, jealous and happy. And happy. <laughs> I'm happy. We're jealous. We're jealous. That that's she's it. Having yeah. to end her cruise. <laughs> no, she misses her family. She's ready to come home. <laughs> yeah. And Aaron, how old are you? Now? I am 22 years old now, and um, maybe we should make introductions to this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because this is an important factor. <laughs> I think this is so cool. Congratulations. Yep. You stay so. Well, I'm Jared, and I'm Aaron's fiance. Yay. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. We saw that, and I was, like, dancing up and down. It gives me yes. so much hope. It does. You know? Well, and that's what Foster and I were talking about earlier, and I had talked to you a little bit before you came on the show, that one of the things we want to kind of outline today is that there is hope. Absolutely. You know, a lot, there is a lot of negative information about autism, about parenting kids on, with autism, and believe me, I know, I live it every day, and there are the negatives and the positives. Right. But I think Aaron really, for us anyway, is the epitome. The success. Yeah. Sorry. You are I the am. epitome of the success. You're the goal. <laughs> I'm the goal? Yeah. You're the goal. Oh, man. If I'm the goal, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Thanking you big time for being uh, quite the uh, front runner. Uh, I and, uh, try. We are the presidents of yes. your fan club. Exactly, yeah. we are yes. so. definitely. Yes. So once you, mm-hmm. your mother found out what was going on, and she, like you said, 
took it right on, Bray, just like I know these two ladies do right now with their children. Um, how did that, you know, what were some of the things that you kind of went through? Well, I mean, I was so young, so quite frankly, I don't remember, like, right. a lot of that, but what, and I'm just going to recount what I've been told um, to the best of my ability. But, I mean, we got, I got a professional. I was put in Goddard in a special education program because, and let me tell you, this is how much we didn't know about autism back in, like, the 90s. At the time, Sedgwick, um, the, the little the little city, did not have a special education room. Right. All the kids had to be bussed out to, like, Goddard. And so that's what happened with me. But it was good. But, like, they, it was they, worked, great. they worked with us on that. And later on, because... I was one of the first kids to have, like, a diagnosis in the town. We ended up, um, when I was, like, in third grade, getting that special education room and getting, a pair, and getting paraprofessionals in there. And it was so exciting because um, I went back and visited uh, my, my small town recently, and I talked to the woman that is, that is still there who started the special education program. She's still there, and she said that she always wondered what happened to yeah. me. I bet I was, was the first of the I class. Bet so happy to, to hear from you. And to she, she, was freaking, she was freaking thrilled. She's like, you're I in bet. college, really? <laughs> we didn't, because they didn't know. They had no idea what right. was going to happen to me. Right. Nobody we, did. I mean, you never can no. tell, just like we were talking about. Yeah. No. Yes. Anyway. Yeah. yeah, so you're in college. You just brought that up. I graduated. I'm done. Woo! I'm done. I know. She's not the goal. I know. Exactly. I have a creative writing major and a theater minor. I did it debt free, and it was really hard. (laughs) But I mean, we uh, again. It was. I. I. At one time, I was working like three jobs to make it happen, and it was. I made a lot of sacrifices. I didn't do the dorm life. I didn't get to like attend all of the WCU activities, and that I that I wish I could have. But at the same time. I don't have to worry about debt ever. So, um, awesome, not from the right? school, but yeah, um, awesome. I don't owe a penny to anyone, so, right. which, which, which I'm very, very proud of. My family also worked extremely hard to make that happen to me. Mom, my mom was working, helping me pay. I was working. At, we were doing scholarships. I mean, I was, you know, I was very lucky. Yeah. Well, so tell us a little bit about what the supports are like in, in college versus maybe high school, you know, because... We're familiar as parents with IEPs, which is Individualized Education Plans, which is what happens if your child has a diagnosis or they are, you know, Mm -hmm. termed or they're deemed necessary. Does that follow you? Let's put it this way. The IEP is supposed to. Okay. Let's put it that way. Um, I mean, you really have to advocate for yourself more. I found that in high school... It was a little bit easier to get the help I needed, um, but in college I am finding that it's a little bit more difficult because, and right now because resources are um, are are not as abundant because cutbacks. But let's not get involved with Brown Pakistan right now. <laughs> <laughs> let's Whoa. Not talk about that. Whoa. Yes, I, just, what I mean, I can't yeah. find one that voted for it. I know, right? And then yes, I just throw the shade. If you throw the, the education in in the same sentence with his name, it's it just doesn't work around. Oh mm. uh, yeah, everybody's got that. Uh, well, no, I, he actually I, works. Um, uh, go ahead, baby. Tell me where you work. I uh, work for Exploration Place, the local science museum. Oh, nice. So I do see a lot of students and teachers come through. Okay, and they're and all suffering. They are. Yeah, the, the education system is having difficulty. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. To the point that people are booking it out of this state. Mm-hmm. They're, they're, they're leaving the state. Yeah. Well, I was just going to say, what is that? How are you seeing that difference at, well, at work? Well, for one thing, Exploration Place is the science programming for many districts in the state. Right. Wow. We are We are sending our educators out on a daily basis because the funding is not there to have an on site science teacher. What? Wow. Yeah. How, how terrifying is that? Yeah. You've you got to be kidding me. No. no. At what grade no. level is this taking place? Uh, it's largely elementary school. This is ridiculous. That's crazy. So the, the fundamentals are... Not even being we're having presented. To fill in that. Well, I think we found your topic for your next show. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, I think we did. Education. Yes. Bring, bring your kid back. Education. Well, I've, I've got better people to talk to, or for you guys to talk to than that. So. Oh, bring them on. We'll be. Yeah, hook us up, Jerry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. I wanted so to bring this to your back. story. Well, I wanted to bring this up. I was watching you guys while we were taping our first segment, and you guys were doing sign language. Yes. Mm-hmm. 
And is that something that you both learned previously, or tell me about or that? Or did you teach him? Well, no, he actually taught me. Um, the sign language thing is a whole other story that we can get into another day, but I learned in college, and um, I just learned the past, like, I took 16-week classes, like, just slammed into it, yeah. and um, we're, it's, it's, these, they focus a lot on, like, social cue stuff, yeah. and so on that part, I'm screwed, but um, it's really <laughs> great just to, like, get a basic thing across, like, a basic need or want, which is why a lot of autistic children I was gonna say, are using sign language, language but they can't get the emotive stuff so much, but if a little girl who's nonverbal is... Um, well, that's what Julia started with, was uh, right, yeah. signing. So. And they, and, but you can do stuff like, I want water. And yeah. it works. Just, and they understand water. that. Water. Yes. Yeah. So That's great. Yeah. That's really cool. Oh, yeah, yeah it, it caught my eye because uh, my daughter and I practiced it a little bit when she was younger, and I never really followed through with it. But we still do a lot of just intuitive motioning. Right. Mm -hmm. you know? Julius will still re uh, refer back to whenever he's done with something, you'll see him be like, I'm done. Yeah. You know, and I mean, he'll he'll ask for help still the same old way. But, you know, we don't use signing anymore, but it was a real helpful tool. It's really helpful. I agree. Yeah, you know, so cool. when we come back here, because I know we need to take a break, but when we come back, I do want to continue with the conversation about autism, some of the things that helped you, some of the people that are available for help. Yeah. And we do have somebody that kind of specializes along those lines in some of the our spotlight individual. But uh, we need to take a quick break. We'll be back. Real People, Real Life. Real People, Real Life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Alboro Cafe, like a vacation to Italy with Wichita's best Italian dining. Open Monday to Saturday. Happy hour Monday to Thursday, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Enjoy our featured cocktails, lovely wines, and famous martinis. Alboro Cafe. Hi, this is Samantha with Wichita's all new Easy Pay Auto Sales at 2305 South Broadway. This tax refund season, forget the stress, forget the gimmicks. Bad credit, no credit, no worries. Make it easy on yourself and check us out. We have a great selection of vehicles to choose from. Come see us today at Easy Pay, Wichita's all new Easy Pay Auto Sales, 2305 South Broadway, where we make it easy. Find us on the web at easypaywichita.com and on Facebook. Easy Pay Auto Sales at 2305 South Broadway. When you look good, you feel amazing. Let 2 Envy Me help you. Straight Wavy Curls Volume, our 100% virgin hair is the best in the world. The perfect professional business look, the perfect fun lady social look, the perfect beautiful night on the town. You can be all of those and more with real hair extensions from 2 Envy Me. 6160 East 21st Street North, Suite 220. Buy online with free shipping at 2envyme.com. You deserve to feel fantastic. Liquor, home of the coldest beer in town and the lowest prices store wide. For all your special events, your friends at Hammond Liquor have what you need from beer, wines, spirits, champagne, and more. Open till 8 p.m. every Sunday. Hammond Liquor, West Kellogg and Tyler Road. The King. Credit King Auto Sales. The biggest buy here, pay here in Kansas. At the King's Corner, 31st Street South and Broadway. The King knows you worked hard for your tax refund. The King will give you more for it. The King of buy here, pay here. The King of load down payments. Bad credit, no credit, no problems with the King. The King does it better than all the rest. Check us out at GoCreditKing.com. Credit King Auto Sales. 31st Street South and Broadway. Welcome back once again, Real People, Real Life, and we're going to kind of continue on with our topic today, which is autism, and again, I want to make sure and thank Erin and Jared, the happy little couple. I'm so proud of you guys. Um, you had brought some stuff up earlier, and you kind of filled in the, the gap on that, mm -hmm. going from being diagnosed at an early age to the school when it came to grade school, junior high, high school, then on to college, of, of those periods throughout your life, preschool, 
grade school, junior high, high school, college. Which in those areas did you seem to learn the most, change the most, and become more determined to be where you are now, which is such a, a success story. It's amazing. Hmm. I was always really determined. Um, my mother... Like, my mother can even tell you I was always stubborn as heck to kind of do what I needed to do or what I wanted yeah, to do. I think that's a common behavior <laughs> in autism. Absolutely. Yeah. And I was always ambitious. Um, I, you know, it's, it's, I learned so much in intermediate school, middle school, um, high school, educationally. Mm-hmm. And, um, but it, social is where we, they lack, social, right? So where, so where did you learn the most of that at? Actually, doing social working with the public school. That's where I learned a lot of that. And I, I, but where I really came into my own socially was definitely in college. And I don't think it's because, and this is going to sound, again, kind of egotistical a little bit, but I don't think it was because of me that I wasn't socially fitting in. It was just the high school thing. Um, if you weren't... High school is always brutal, honey. High school is so brutal. <laughs> it's so brutal. But socially, I came into my own in college because I realized, wait a minute, I'm in this place where, number one, people are more educated and they're used to seeing other cultures mm-hmm. where I grew up in Goddard, which had a kind of... <laughs> Which had a school with mostly just, it wasn't I'm not going to lie, I love the Goddard school system. My daughter's part of it, and I'll never remove her from it. They're wonderful. They are wonderful. They are wonderful. But but there's not a lot of different cultures that go to that school. No, there there are not. They're they're not. (laughs) So that's why with college, I think people were just seeing, were were used to seeing different, I guess, aspects of humanity. And so when I flopped into this school and I found friends with the same common interests, they were like, oh, oh, no. You know, this, this is what happens when you're on television. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the beauty of being beha- seen behind Why? the scenes. But, um, you know, that's... I, it was definitely culture. I just kind of grew into myself because I think people were used to seeing people that were different. That's what it really came down to. And that's where I actually I started dating. Um, <laughs> that's no when you started dating? Was in college. No one wanted to date me in high school. It was awful. Like, in fact, I, over, I one time overheard a conversation where a boy was telling his friends, you know, I think I want to ask Aaron out. And they laughed at him for wanting to ask me out. Are you serious? Yeah, high school. And I heard sucks. the and I yeah, heard the I know, most right? yeah, and I heard the most vile, horrible things I probably can't say on television. Right. So um, yeah, high school. It was so sad. Oh, though. It was yeah, sad. And you know, I mean, my daughter also graduated from Goddard. Um, you know, but high school is brutal. I mean, I don't, I don't know that it yeah. matters. Well, no, and that I think if anybody goes back and watches that last show you were on, mm-hmm. I think you and my daughter can both attest to yes. high school. High school is bad for Every normal day. people. When you look normal. Yeah, exactly. But, well, you no, know what? I, that's why I said in air quotes. Yeah. Yeah. You know. It's bad for normal people. It is brutal. If exactly. You are different in any way where you can't be put into a box. Mm-hmm. And but, but you know what? Here's what I want to say to everyone. High school, social stuff doesn't matter. As soon as you are graduated, it doesn't matter where you are in the social chain. It does not... It doesn't matter. Like, when I got into college, I had guys beating down my door to, like, date me. Uh, I, and what you got? I wanted to segue into what? this. Uh, um, ironically enough, we actually went to the same school. Yeah. We never said a word oh, cool. to each other. Yeah, yes, I but I knew who he was. Yeah. yeah, cool. And I graduated in 2011. We never spoke. Ever. Isn't that hilarious? That is so cute. Which I'm glad that we didn't, though, because I was a different person. And you weren't ready. No, absolutely not. I wasn't ready. But we, I mean, we have been dating now for about, what, it's been three years. Yeah, three years. And our anniversary was a couple days ago. Mm, I saw that. We we met three (laughs) three days, three years ago. And um, and then um, pretty much our relationship is just like any other relationship. So you guys fight is what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's, we actually really don't fight a lot. Do I we? believe you don't. We're, Not I mean. So what you're saying is he doesn't pick up the socks and you have to go home and yell at him. No, he's yeah. actually really neat. Okay, all right. He's awesome. Like, and here's like, like he, he can cook. He awesome. can clean. He's actually an amazing cook. And yeah. I mean, we've moved into an apartment in October and it's been great and I actually really enjoy it I know some people struggle like even anyone yeah. who doesn't have disability struggles right. with kind of being on your own and being an adult but I'm not really feeling that pressure yet that's all I'm that's really not cool. freaking out yet I'm sure I will but um, <laughs> well, I, I love I love living in an apartment I, I, with him it's a, been awesome 
I wow. actually question whether you're ever going to struggle with it, considering that you worked so much to get through college and you did college. I'm not sure. You know, I bet the, the hard part's over for you. <laughs> yes. Well, and he's been a great support system. Can I, can I ask well, you guys a question? Yes, go for it. I think you guys I'm, are getting married in a year. Have you guys talked about children? This is something that I, it's a yeah, big that's a great thing question. for me with Julius, you know, and so, I mean, what is your take on that? Here's my take. I'm not going to have children. I do not want children. I have, I mean, kids Kids are all right, but not for me. I'm actually, they are sticky. <laughs> and I'm not, and, and I have, I'm actually, um, and I'm actually getting my tubes tied in February. Okay, I've made that decision. A question. Have you spoke to a doctor about that? Yes. And they've agreed to it. Yes. And it's why? Why? Tell why? Me why? Because you want to know why? Let people, unless you've had two children or you're up 25 years of age or all these different things, why? Story time with Aaron. Okay. So Yay. I went to three other doctors before someone finally agreed. And I don't want to say the doctor's name because I don't want to, you know, that's my medical business. But um, I finally just like lost my freaking mind. And I was like, look. I am a 22-year-old adult. I want have my tubes tied when I was 11. I mean, it's been 10 years. I would have. You think I would have changed my mind by now? My biological clock should be ticking, and it's my my. It's quiet. It's so quiet. I cannot even hear it. The alarm is broken. The ticking don't matter. Not ticking until you're 30. I hear. Uh, <laughs> but you know, not I'm not. No. I'm not interested in kids, and I never have been. I didn't even play with baby dolls when I was a kid because um, I played with stuffed animals because yeah. stuffed animals don't talk back. Right. Amen. Was, I always, so. Amen. Yes. I don't want children, and I think it's... I, I, and I think people that's think, your personal right. Though. Yeah, oh, it is my personal right. And I shouldn't have to justify it. Why am I justifying it? No, I don't want kids. And you shouldn't have to justify right. that. But, but justify that. do you think that that has anything to do with my autism? Yeah. Absolutely not. I mean... There is a little bit of reason I don't want to pass it on, like, through my own genetics. Okay, but how about your own personal, like, Julius has sensory issues, texture issues, sound mm -hmm. issues. Like, I mean, that all factors in. Kids are loud. Kids are missing. The kids are... And that, too. But, oh, you know, honestly, I... Even if I didn't have autism, I still don't think I would want children. Well, I mean, my best friend you know? doesn't have any, and she doesn't want any, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, so. So, I mean, I, 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 I don't want to say that it's because of my autism, but I just... I'm a career woman. I'm ambitious, and quite frankly... We don't have time for that. And look, and people say, well, what if you change your mind? <laughs> oh, my God. I can, uh, there's a thing called adoption right, where right. I can go and I can, like, get <laughs> well, that's a kid. True. So even if I do change my mind, it's, it's quite frankly, it's no one's business. And it's they shouldn't try personal, to force it on personal me. personal business. It's <laughs> well, I agree 100%. I mean, if you've made a choice, you've made a choice. Absolutely. I just was wondering for Julius's future of, like, you know, that's if, – if the goal – how old, how old is Julius again? He's five. Julius don't need to worry about that, right? <laughs> I was going to say, I know, I'm sitting on that You want to know, but you want to know I'm because just curious you want to be prepared for, for how it affects I those guess. decisions. Mm -hmm. And yeah. he's completely cool with it. We just want to work together, and that's fine. And that's and, fine. And Aaron, you're absolutely right. That? You shouldn't have to defend it, right? There was, there was a time where I didn't want kids. Same and, here. And there are still some times, I think... Same here. Well, maybe I shouldn't have, but you know what? I have him, and I love him, and I wouldn't give him back now. Mm -hmm. So I totally respect that, and I, and I think that is a larger issue about women's rights. But uh, you know, yeah. that's for See, a whole other it, show. It, it, and and the thing is, is I didn't start having kids until I was 22, okay? And mm -hmm. I never wanted to have kids. Mm -hmm. Like, I always told everybody, I'm going to have two, Spot and Rover. Mm -hmm. and, <laughs> and I wonder if that would have been available to me. You know, because they're they're obviously making a special consideration. <laughs> nope, not really. I just to, I just told my doctor. I said, "Look, I've been to I've been to like three other doctors. If you think I wouldn't try this hard, it's just an for insurance a win, thing. Yeah, my insurance covers it. Yes. Yeah, right on. Normally oh. they'll fight it because they're worried that you're going to come back later, having changed your mind and have well, to have other. <laughs> I did tell the insurance wow. people I had autism. My doctor and I think that that helps autism. them decide. <laughs> yeah, and that's what I was like. Look, I'm above 18. I have autism. I've been to three other doctors. One approved it. It says you cover it. Cover it. They're like, boy. So, yeah, they again, were actually I, great. Again, I think it's something you shouldn't have to justify, period. Not at all. Um, well, you know, well, I have friends that are in their 50s. That okay, don't have that children. That do yeah. not have children. Yeah. And, and, but they have a lot of fun. 
They have a ton they of They get to travel. They don't have to buy diapers. They don't yeah. ever have to clean up vomit yeah. for, from a kid. And actually, I have a question because I know Jen wanted to ask about how he deals with me, about how this relationship I is. I do. Yeah, I would love to hear more about how the relationship works because... I have not seen it in person, you know. And, right. And I don't I don't mean to make that, like, sound <laughs> awkward or anything. But it's, I'm sure that there are some elements that are different and you have to work with And he's going to have to get this in here quick. Yeah. Simply put, patience. Lots and lots of patience. You notice I said oh, I work with kids, right? Oh, yeah. Patience, patience, okay. patience. Okay. Mm-hmm. And that's not to make Aaron sound like a bad person. No, 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 no. no. I'm just, I'm just no. everybody needs patience. You're right, and we that's, all need more of it. I, 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 feel like, I feel like autistic people have a higher energy level sometimes than, you know, others. And because of that, it, it requires other people that are real chill, you seem real chill, to have patience. But it exactly. works. Look how cute you guys are. And yeah. oh, well, you, you guys, thank you so, so yeah, much. I know we got to get a move on here. Yeah, and we got to go. Yep. For those of you that have children or are adults with autism, look up to Aaron. All right? Yeah, there there's hope. We'll be right back. No people were life. Real People, Real Life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Alboro Cafe, like a vacation to Italy, with Wichita's best Italian dining. Open Monday to Saturday. Happy hour Monday to Thursday, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Enjoy our featured cocktails, lovely wines, and famous martinis. Alboro Cafe. Hi, this is Samantha with Wichita's all new Easy Pay Auto Sales at 2305 South Broadway. This tax refund season, forget the stress, forget the gimmicks. Bad credit, no credit, no worries. Make it easy on yourself and check us out. We have a great selection of vehicles to choose from. Come see us today at Easy Pay, Wichita's all new Easy Pay Auto Sales, 2305 South Broadway, where we make it easy. Find us on the web at easypaywichita.com and on Facebook. Easy Pay Auto Sales at 2305 South Broadway. When you look good, you feel amazing. Let 2 Envy Me help you. Straight Wavy Curls Volume, our 100% virgin hair is the best in the world. The perfect professional business look, the perfect fun lady social look, the perfect beautiful night on the town. You can be all of those and more with real hair extensions from 2 Envy Me. 6160 East 21st Street North, Suite 220. Buy online with free shipping at 2envyme.com. You deserve to feel fantastic. Liquor, home of the coldest beer in town and the lowest prices store wide. For all your special events, your friends at Hammond Liquor have what you need from beer, wines, spirits, champagne, and more. Open till 8 p.m. every Sunday. Hammond Liquor, West Kellogg and Tyler Road. The King. Credit King Auto Sales. The biggest buy here, pay here in Kansas. At the King's Corner, 31st Street South and Broadway. The King knows you worked hard for your tax refund. The King will give you more for it. The King of buy here, pay here. The King of load down payments. Bad credit, no credit, no problems with the King. The King does it better than all the rest. Check us out at GoCreditKing.com. Credit King Auto Sales. 31st Street South and Broadway. Welcome back once again, Real People, Real Life, Wichita, Kansas, America. America. And how awesome is this? You know, we just finished the topic of autism. autism and, and we Ed. had our, our wonderful friends, Erin and her fiancé on. And I would like to, um, gosh, welcome uh, Sean. Thank you. Um, and pronounce your last name. D. Giovanni. D. Giovanni. D. Giovanni. No, but what? Is that anyway. Italian? A little bit. Uh, I, I know, that's Italian. Italian. <laughs> I know, right? I like that. But you are with uh, Northwestern Mutual, and mm-hmm. you're uh, basically a financial consultant. Financial advisor, retirement planner. Uh-huh. But the thing that I just learned today, which I think is way cool, right. is that you kind of have a special... Uh, n- Field, field, if you will, yeah. in helping financial planning with uh, 
for families that have like a special needs child. And you, and this man has helped you. I'm like, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, I didn't so, even realize how important this is until you started talking. So please. <laughs> yeah, we were just so, earlier, so. I have triple boys, 14 years old, and one of my sons uh, lives with autism. So I've sat in your seat, and I've sat and I've sat in her seat. So uh, families with special needs children um, have a lot of fear. You know, fear of the diagnosis, fear of what 20 years is going to look like, sometimes fear of what tomorrow is going to be like. What tends to happen for our families with special needs children is the things with regards to long-term planning go on the back burner because sometimes it's hard to make it through day to day. Right. So my job as a financial planner is to address the, I like to say, the things that keep you up at night. Um, my job is to rip off the Band-Aid and have hard discussions about right. <laughs> Jen sitting there. Exactly, clinching. <laughs> I've challenged her before. Um, but really to talk about things that maybe not not very much fun to talk about. I mean, we if my son is going to live a typical, a typical mortality, um, the thought that our children could be on this planet without us there. Right, that's scary. That's scary. Uh, yeah, the fact that uh, my wife and I could be in a assisted living facility, a nursing home, and my son could be in a residential home, so you have three people in one family unit that oh, can go man. through a long-term care event at the same time. Then you throw in the fact that uh, children with special needs who are on benefit can't have more than $2,000 of assets. Um, Their parents can't either. It depends on the situation. What? Yes. If, if it's not an option? It does, if your child with special needs is receiving benefit, um, they can't have any assets. So one of the first things I bring to the table is to really audit what's going on because a lot of times there's a, a misinformed, nothing against property and casualty people. People put their life insurance with State Farm or Farmers and the... Uh, advisor doesn't really know the ins or outs of the law and benefits and they say well we'll make your number one your minor should never be a beneficiary but number two a minor or a child with special needs that the parents think they're doing something good well god forbid that child or that that parent passed or both parents passed and the child receives those funds all benefits are lost so my job, typically, when I am introduced to a family who's a special needs child, is really just to kind of do some audits. Mm -hmm. You know, what do you what do you have? Why do you have it? Um, there's no cookie cutter um, approach to any of it. It's pretty holistic. Uh, it depends. I mean, I've got clients who have uh, children with angel mans, down, cerebral palsy. You take those numbers and the amount of families out there that a are living in fear because of a diagnosis, don't know where to turn maybe missing case management, the last thing they think about is a guy like me. Um, so I kind of come in, and another thing that drives parents or keeps those topics uh, closed up is the fear of money. You know, what's it cost to talk to Sean? Yeah. They will typically assume that I'm a, like an attorney, and I love attorneys, don't get me wrong. I have some very good friends and clients who are attorneys. But when they speak to me that the clock is ticking and an invoice is going to show up, um, that's not the case. You know, sometimes we can do some small tweaks that incur no cost. Sometimes we can, it'll take years for us to put some things into place. And by me challenging, you know, we need to do this, we need to do this. Um, doing things for siblings that are typical. If there's a younger uh, brother or sister with special needs, how do we strategize with that in mind? Um, you know, my triplets, I, my wife and I, uh, we have one son that, well, both of them are going to be very financially responsible, we hope. So we do strategies now because Sam, who has autism, can't have any dollars. So how do we kind of crystal... You can't crystal ball it, but you have to look ahead. And Nova says hi to Sam. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm supposed to tell okay, you Okay, good. Um, you know, can you also talk about, as your child kind of ages up, there comes a point where you have to do some like legal stuff in order to ensure that they are taken care of past the age of 18? Sure, yeah. sure. So there's, there's certain things, steps we put into place. Uh, the very beginning would be a letter of intent. Um, letter of intent being a just a simple four-page form. It goes in the house. If you go into our house, it's on the, it's on the inside of a, of, a, of a cabinet, and it just describes what your son or daughter likes or dislikes. Our children with, who, on, on the spectrum are very particular about things. Yes. So, if mom and dad didn't make it home, who's going to show up and here's their guidebook? So first of all, letter of intent. 
Uh, second of all, within six to eight weeks of 18, guardianship. If you have a high-functioning uh, child that may be on medications, well, once they turn 18, they don't have to take their meds. What? Well, they're 18. So unless you have guardianship, they can just quit going to the doctor. They can choose another doctor. So guardianship protects the parent and the child. Um, and then the use of special needs trusts to house dollars, per se, uh, for those families with special needs children so it doesn't impact benefit. Now, in 20, at the end of 2014, um, Congress put ABLE in... I to okay. you about that. I saw that, and I want some info. <laughs> so ABLE... What does that? Um, I knew you were going to ask me what the acronym for. It's, it's about... Uh, it's, it, what, what ABLE is... Are you familiar with 529 plans, Learning Quest? So it's a, a fund for college education. Well, Congress, at the end of 2014, sent to the states, they approved ABLE, which allows families with special needs children to put up to $14,000 aside for their care. Those dollars can be accessed, and they will not jeopardize benefit. Well, the Fed, federal government pushed it on the states to, um, uh, to, to do the fine print on it, to work it out. So um, for the state of Kansas, ABLE goes online in July. Um, the tricky thing about ABLE, though, is that it has to be very, we have to plan specifically because if we have a child that's got some mortality issues, um, some jet town, Downs children have some mortality issues, and we're funding ABLE, and then we put those dollars in and that child dies prematurely, any dollars that are left over, mm, they go back to the government as a, as a reimbursement for Medicaid. I wondered about that. Okay, I'm right. glad you explained that because I, I figured if that, if that wasn't explained properly, that would be one of the first questions right. that somebody would ask. Um, I'd be, and you probably have more questions to ask, and I'm not real sure how much time we do have left, but what is the best way for people to get a hold of you? Um, my office line is 266-5074. Okay. Um, I have a, a wonderful assistant named Chelsea, and her name of her is 616-1616. Uh, she controls my calendar. <laughs> That's another wonderful. Uh, yes, yes. Um, but just a phone call. Sometimes maybe a twenty or thirty minute phone call. We can a I can answer some questions. Um, I will. I do uh, evening appointments and weekend appointments for my families with special needs children because their lives are hectic. And he'll come to you. Yes. And he came all the way out to Andover for me several times yeah. until I just finally. I'm going to come see you. you know, so, yeah, yeah. That, that's awesome. I, I'm not. I, I, I'm not going to name names, but um, I know that you're helping um, some friends of of, of mine. Um, you know, and mm -hmm. well, fact, I think all of us know him. Um, and I, I, I would say that you came highly recommended by them as well. Thank you very much. You know, but I, but again, I'm not going to say who they are because sure. I, I sure. respect people. Confidence. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, yeah. I do. I have too much yeah. respect for other folks. So. Um, it, so Northwestern Mutual and the office is, is wow. Right the waterfront, right by uh, just about a block east of Red Robin. Oh, uh, Red Robin, Red In Robin. the Hartman Oil Building. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, and you know, the right. really cool thing about your building, Hartman. if you have kids who like race cars, there's a race car in the lobby. Yeah, race oh, cars cool. in the lobby. Yeah. Yeah. That's where Dr. Rumber has his office. Yes, Atlas MD, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. Very good. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. That car is Kids awesome. are kind of hanging that's out right. there <laughs> now. Yeah, it's a fun place to go. Um, any last well, questions? I know we're about out of time, so I just kind of want to throw this out there. When you were helping us, mm -hmm. you, know, you were talking earlier about the hard questions, and we're talking about he's going to be real with you, and he's going to say, Robin, if you die tomorrow in a car accident, what are we going to do for your kids? How are you going to plan ahead for that? He asked me that. We've gone over it with my mom, who basically I, I care for, um, and we've gone over it for both of my kids. And he's helped us figure out ways to save, even before ABLE got put in place. He's helped me figure out ways not not to circumnavigate, but to do it legally well, in the right yeah. way. I mean, this is not something that I think that, because I know, I know, I know, I know you, Pasta, and I know you, Jen, and you both, you ladies have your hands full. Yeah. Okay, with, with, with the children that you yeah. have currently um, with autism. But in addition to that, you know, you also have your lives and, and careers. And I and, have other children. Uh, correct. Yeah. And, and, you know, so this would, if, I mean, I can't even imagine being in either one of your shoes yeah, and then even thinking, there. you know, about the future financial opportunities. I, I yeah, can see where I, that I, would be. I think the importance is that you, you, you take those things and let me worry about it. Yeah. yeah, you got IEPs, those, you know, yeah. I'm a parent, I get it. So yeah. I'm, I sit where you sit, I have the fears you have, 
uh, I fight the same behaviors as they come and go when puberty arrives and all these things. Um, so I know how stressful that is. But then the other part, let my team worry about that. And I, I do a lot of pro bono work, you know. And sometimes players just want to call and go, I cannot take it anymore. And I, and I go, I get you. Yeah. You know? Well, I bet you but see, that's what I think is so cool, you know. Um, and, you know, sometimes, you know, things get kind of thrown at us. And we don't always understand, you know, well... What the heck's that all about? You know, Absolutely. But yeah. but but for you two ladies, you know, my two friends here, to have children that have autism, and for me to have the opportunity to have met Aaron, and who right. I think is just one of the most adorable people, and now to find out that right here in Wichita, Kansas, we do have somebody that also has a child in this situation who is brilliant enough to realize <laughs> that <laughs> there's these, this need. There's a need. Yeah. And at least you have the education and, and the resources to help. I would have never even considered this. People don't. That's... And they don't know about it. They yeah. don't know there's a need for it. Wow. I have no idea. I'm going to be real honest. Like you said, the day-to-day -day keeps you so in the moment that you have a harder time to think about, like, okay, you wonder if the future, what it'll bring, but you have a hard time to plan for it, really. Right. Sean, I do. I just want to tell you thank you so much. Again, you're My at Northwest yes. Mutual. Mm -hmm. Okay. And say that last name again. D. Giovanni. D. Giovanni. <laughs> oh, I just love it. Okay. And his office number, again, is 266-5074. Real people, real life. We'll be right back. Real People, Real Life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Alboro Cafe, like a vacation to Italy with Wichita's best Italian dining. Open Monday to Saturday. Happy hour Monday to Thursday, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Enjoy our featured cocktails, lovely wines, and famous martinis. Alboro Cafe. Hi, this is Samantha with Wichita's all-new Easy Pay Auto Sales at 2305 South Broadway. This tax refund season, forget the stress, forget the gimmicks. Bad credit, no credit, no worries. Make it easy on yourself and check us out. We have a great selection of vehicles to choose from. Come see us today at Easy Pay, Wichita's all-new Easy Pay Auto Sales, 2305 South Broadway, where we make it easy. Find us on the web at easypaywichita.com and on Facebook. Easy Pay Auto Sales at 2305 South Broadway. When you look good, you feel amazing. Let 2 Envy Me help you. Straight Wavy Curls Volume, our 100% virgin hair is the best in the world. The perfect professional business look, the perfect fun lady social look, the perfect beautiful night on the town. You can be all of those and more with real hair extensions from 2 Envy Me. 6160 East 21st Street North Suite 220. Buy online with free shipping at 2envyme.com. You deserve to feel fantastic. Hammond Liquor, home of the coldest beer in town and the lowest prices store-wide. For all your special events, your friends at Hammond Liquor have what you need from beer, wines, spirits, champagne, and more. Open till 8 p.m. every Sunday, Hammond Liquor, West Kellogg and Tyler Road. The King. Credit King Auto Sales. The biggest buy here, pay here in Kansas. At the King's Corner, 31st Street South and Broadway. The King knows you worked hard for your tax refund. The King will give you more for it. The King of buy here, pay here. The King of load down payments. Bad credit, no credit, no problems with the King. The King does it better than all the rest. Check us out at GoCreditKing.com. Credit King Auto Sales. 31st Street South and Broadway. 